hello and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for always coming back and watching these videos uh like today i have been telling myself i'm going to like uh, post a video but i have really um, like i've been kind of lazy i haven't really posted for quite a, a long time so this is winnie and this is my view with winnie welcome back to my channel uh it's been like four months i haven't posted any content um actually i posted uh like a, a video like a month ago two videos a month ago and i was going to try out this uh this vlogging challenge but i really didn't follow through it because vlogging is really uh, hard i found it very difficult to me and i basically couldn't do it so today guys today it's very cold so i'm just shooting this video from my bed because i don't want to get out and then i still don't want to go <laughs> this day without having to shoot this uh, particular video so uh welcome back again so this is going to be like my very first video after such a very um long break from youtube and i'm really going to try and get uh, the videos to be consistent the videos coming back to you because you guys have been asking uh where have i been where is the content because you have missed me on these platforms uh youtubers really missed me so you guys are asking for a uh, new content and all those and so guys today being my very first um my very first video i wanted to talk about uh ideas or uh business ideas that uh you can do as side hustles uh because nowadays so people are no one is 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 actually staying without a side hustle because covid taught us that you have to be doing more than uh, one thing so so many ladies so many men so many people have really embraced this thing of uh, doing uh, more than one job you see at the daytime maybe if you're employed you're doing this job and on the side on your online platform you're posting things you're selling things so i just wanted to like kind of narrow down those ideas for you guys so i as always i always like uh, writing down some of these things in my book just to refer when i'm doing a video so that i don't have to i don't forget any of the things which i have already listed out so um i will want to start by listing out the small businesses these are businesses which you can start from you the comfort of your home like these are things you're going to do without uh, being very very stressed or like they're not going to make you uh you're not going to go out of your comfort zone a lot for you to to do this these side hustles or these businesses and remember these are things that when you execute them you'll be able to you'll be able to earn like an extra income to your pocket and the extra income is what you want because the cost of living right now is extremely high so if you can find a way of gaining one coin or another then it will be easier for you to to like uh, navigate through these very tough economic times so i know there are so many 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 businesses and i know like in kenya right now um Starting a business is not easy for especially young people because you have to raise the rent to like go start the business, go look for business permits. Like starting an actual business is is not yes, Nick. I'm 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 shooting a video. Don't step on the tea. You can't do a video. See, this is a video, Nick. You go to Mora, t tell him to wash you. You see, you are, you are dirty. Where are you coming from? This is a book. Yeah, that's my book. Nick, go go outside. I, I, no, don't go outside. Go to Mora. No, I take tea. Huh? I take tea. That's my microphone. Nick, leave it alone. I'm doing a video. So, um, you keep quiet because I'm doing a video, okay? You're a good boy. <coughs> so, um, <coughs> Nick, go to Mora. Thank you. Mora, can you take Nick? I want to eat chipo. You want to eat chipo? I'll order for you. Let me finish. Mora, yeah. can you make chipo for Nick? Yeah. Okay, for go. Me. No, I won't order. Just go. Mora will cook for you chipo right now. Go, 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 go. Bye. Bye. Don't come back again. Okay. I want to finish chips. 
when you will eat chips then you will come back okay close the door so uh <laughs> That is just, um, sorry for that interruption, but you know, as you know, kids are just a part of life. You really cannot, like, avoid all that. So, as I was saying, these are businesses which you are going to to do, and they are not going to really want a lot from you. Like, isn't it easy to, you can just start when you are in the house. You don't have to think about it. You, you just need a little initiative from your side, and then you are able to to be okay with these uh, uh, businesses. So the very first business that I feel you can start without using much of, uh, that doesn't need a lot of capital is uh, the, this business of um, online writing. So online writing is a very good venture, especially when you are in this phase of looking for job. You know, when you are like from school, from campus and you're wondering what to do, it's good you can hook yourself up with people who have done this online writing. And it's not an easy task because it takes, it consumes a lot of your time. But if you are able to become dedicated and committed to it, you can really earn something from it. So if you write like a few pages in a day and you get someone who has an account, then you can be able to to do this uh, business so that is just online writing you can research more about online writing and you can actually google and find people who have accounts and who are willing to pay you to write for them on subjects which you are comfortable on and then the other second business which you can do is actually uh, like doing deliveries for people like there's this uh, there's so many people in town especially in the cbd nairobi town who are selling so many things online they have shops i if you look at this sasa mall there's so many malls in town that are, are selling uh things like clothes um utensils um we have people for selling extensive things home home appliances home curtains and all even in Isli in so many other places so there are people who deliver these items to people to to the clients or to the customers so you see this um you can register your business and then you can do uh you can have a till number or you can go to those people who have malls give them your number and then you can be doing deliveries you don't have to have a motorbike you can just maybe restrict yourself to deliveries within a certain radius so when they have deliveries maybe within cbd or within town they can go they can call you you go pick the item then deliver it to a client within the cbd or within the town or within a specific uh, locality that business doesn't need any capital you just need to go and make yourself known to the people who are who are kind of selling these things and who have very many orders because this more these people in these malls they have so many orders in a day so you can be able to get orders which you can uh, deliver to people and then you can be able to get that money and then you don't have to do this uh, delivery business like every day you can tell the people that i'm always available for on mondays and fridays mondays tuesdays wednesdays any you can it's it gives you some flexibility or during the weekends only is when you do deliveries so that is another second business the other third business is maybe is to like start a baking uh baking business you know uh this is this baking business is something which i personally have done i am i am a baker a self-taught baker because i learned about baking from from youtube and after learning about it i started practicing small small like uh buying equipment you don't need a lot of equipment you just need a few baking trays uh baking cream and you can even do cookies you can do very very small small pastries but it's good for you to learn how to do uh, these premium products especially like cakes which can earn you um quite can fetch you quite some good money because if you do like one cake like right now the the rates of cakes are uh, is very high so like a one kg cake goes for around 1800 shillings and you could have used like uh ingredients of close to uh maybe let's say that's 1000 shillings so you will have like an 800 bob which you have and or you, which you have saved from that one kg cake and uh, uh baking is a skill that will really pay and if you have time like for me i think that i just get tired uh, doing it because you know you're juggling between the baking and your work 
So you, when you have so many orders, then you will need to uh, call other people to help you with the orders or give orders to other people so that they are able to do the orders for the clients. But if you don't have a job right now or you are looking for a side hustle, you can learn how to bake. You can start teaching others how to bake. You can even um, you can even be doing cakes for people even on weekends only, not necessarily when you are uh, at work. On weekends, you can do cakes for occasions, small cakes like birthday cakes, uh, baby shower cakes, uh, occasion cakes. Maybe if you nowadays, like the way we are in so many baby shower groups, you can do. You can do cakes for those groups and tell them, oh, I'm in this group. Yes, I'm doing cakes. I can do for you uh, at a subsidized price and just something simple. And then you see, you can be able to earn like something little, some money from uh, doing cakes. And this one I can attest because I've done this cake business and it really has uh, quite, um, it fetches good money when you stay consistent with it. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nick. So guys, this baking business is the third business which you can start with a very minimal capital and you can actually start it from like the comfort of your home. And then um, now on the fourth business which you can start from the comfort of your home is online, online selling. This one, so many people nowadays are doing this online business, so there's nothing that is preventing you from doing this business. So they identify a supplier or someone who is selling these items, the person, and then they enter into groups. You enter into groups of these people are selling uh, the items, duvets, uh, utensils. Um, these people you see advertising online. You know, in these groups, then these suppliers are posting the pictures of what they have and the prices. So you, you, you take the pictures and then you mark up the price and then now post on your status so that people can view and uh, people can request for items from you. So you see, from, you don't need any capital to do that particular business because you don't hold the goods at any particular time. So when an, a customer or a client makes an order, that is when now you, you like kind of go and... Um, and buy, purchase that item. You can even ask your clients to pay before, depending with the terms which you are comfortable with. Your clients can pay and then you go buy the item to them and then deliver to the client and then you will have gotten that item. And then that business is very flexible because you can talk to your client and tell them, I'm going to like uh, deliver this product over the weekend. So you can collect your orders on the weekdays and then um, during the weekend, you go get the products and then supply to your clients. So that is another business idea which you can be able to uh, do. And then and on the fifth, um, the fifth one which I had indicated here is uh, this business of marketing and and advertising. So this one really works for those people who have a very heavy online presence. Like you have so many followers on Instagram, you have so many followers on TikTok, you have so many followers on YouTube, you have many followers on your Facebook page. So you can always uh, like ask people who are selling products like companies like let's say if you're doing um uh, if your instagram tiktok and maybe facebook pages is about beauty products you can actually approach people who are selling beauty products like the laron um the nivea people you can give them a proposal to work with you you can tell them i can advertise for you on my page so that you are able to pay me at this particular rate i've seen that work but that actually works for people who who already are on the online uh, community like they really have a very high following on the social media platforms and then uh, another video is selling of uh, like this second-hand clothes online you see things like uh, like the mtumba clothes you can go get them from gikomba and then come post on your on your status in Ikitu, you can do on a weekend. Huh? I've ever tried this Mutumba business with some of my friends. I think uh, some of my friends, Nancy and Lorraine, 
we have we did this business with you guys you can all remember so you can go to gikomba buy some tops like uh, this lady's tops at 30 shillings 50 shillings 100 shillings 200 shillings you can even get the premium ones at 200 shillings the chiffon tops the nice nice tops and then you can come and maybe you can if you don't have a money queen to put the the tops you can just uh, wear them and post them with yourself you know and then you can get you can actually get clients you know, like what you open up on people can can always buy you you should not underestimate the 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 will of the people or the purchasing power of people just advertise on your page and people will always start coming up and saying oh i want this top i want this and you see you could have at, at least gained uh some money for yourself and then so uh from all these things that i have already mentioned to you you can choose any of those businesses which is flexible to you something which you can do just ensure that you are constantly advertising your business when i was doing my baking business i really used to advertise it a lot a lot a lot a lot like you ensure you have to post every day you stay consistent because the online uh when you don't have a shop so you need a presence you know people who have businesses that have shops they are already located somewhere so people will always pass and know these are in their head they know this shop is at this particular location you see it's already stuck in my mind in their minds but you who has like an online business you have to constantly keep posting keep posting keep posting so that people know uh you are there or they, they realize or recognize your presence so uh that is all for today bye bye you can comment on the comment section below let me know if you've tried any of these businesses and if you're willing and once you try them out come back with feedback letters encourage people to do this side hustle so that we together can be able to cope with the inflating economy bye bye see you next time in my next video yes nick